So, uh, yeah, a Fallen of Albus fusion deck. It's, um, interesting, I, I guess. Okay, well, let's go through everything card by card. First we have the Predator Plant Engine with double Scorpio, one Cobra and triple Lonefire Bra 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 Brossom. So we can get to Scorpio even faster. Then we have triple Fallen of Albus, our main fusion monster. We have the most broken card in the deck, the branded fusion and three copies, one paradise branded. And then we have our fusion materials, Zombira the Dark, the Light Hex Sealed Fusion and the Cod Shadow Kasos and one copy of Reinforcements of the Army. We're gonna talk about Zombira a bit in a moment. We also have hand traps of course, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Gamma, one Driver, Triple Drawn and Lock Burl, Bird, Burb, Emperor, Allure of Darkness, Imperial Order, Rivalry of Warlords, Imperial Custom, and Save Zone. As for our extra deck, we're playing Albion the Branded Dragon in three copies. This monster, Albion banishes monsters to fusion summon, while his dark counterpart, Lubellion, shuffles them back. So they are kind of cool because both Albion and Lubelion do things. Compensate? Let's let's go with compensate. Next we have Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon, Dragoon, Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, Dracostapelia, Dark Cavalry, the Last Warrior from Another Planet, Alshadol Winda, and then vote Kaliga. So, why are we playing this uh, so sole copy of Reinforcements of the Army? It is so we can search Zambira. And why do we want to search Zambira? Because if we activate the Branded Fusion, we can send Fallen of Albas together with the Light Hex Sealed Fusion, 
summon Albion. Then Albion will banish cards from our field deck, uh, from our hand, field or graveyard to fusion summon. And if we have Zambaira in our hand, we can make the last warrior from another planet, basically shutting the opponent's ability to summon. And that was how this deck was born. That was the f basic foundation, and we kind of built on that, and that's how how this became a thing. That's also why we're playing Imperial Custom and Safe Zone, because, uh, yeah, we don't want... If we make Last Warrior, we don't want it to die, so that's why Safe Zone is here. And for the opponent to not uh, pick a Safe Zone out, we're playing Imperial Custom. And that's about it. It's not the best. I basic I'm pretty sure that this can be made better. But I think it's pretty cool. It's very flexible in what it can do. So uh what do you think about it? Leave your answers in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Check out something up. Peace!